done with the video, the X values is the other part of it. So let's click on that and start to do some problems with that. Here the means not zero and the standard deviation of one, it's actually some values based on some raw data. So now you're dealing with X values, not the standard normal curve, it's it's the X value curve, uh, just based on you know some sample data. You'll notice that we're using a norm dist, norm I and V. Same rules apply. If you're looking for a probability, use a dist. If you're looking for a raw data value, uh, X in this case, use norm I and V. So let's take a look at the first problem. Pulse rate, so that's an X, when the probability is less than 2.5. So we're going to use equal norm I N V because we're looking for a raw data value. The probability is 0 0.025. The mean is F1. The standard deviation is F2. I think that's it. So what you're seeing here is that you have 46.99. That's somewhere around over here when you're at that 2.5% level. The pulse rate, it's also asking for that again, equal norm I and V. The probability in this case is 0 0.975, comma F1, comma F2 for the mean and standard deviation. And we're getting 87 as the pulse rate. That's somewhere over here, right in this range, when it's at the you only have two and a half percent left. It's at the ninety-seven and a half percent mark. The probability of a pulse rate over eighty. Now we're trying to deal with coming back with a probability. So norm dist of the x wants to know about eighty. Given we have F1 and F2 as our inputs. The cumulative just make that true because you're wanting to do the shaded area under the curve. Oh, now we didn't get that right because the pulse rate over 80. Remember that uh, when it's greater than, you have to do 1 minus. The 0 0.1087 is correct. I had to do that 100% minus that number. This one's an under 66, so it would be less than type problem. Equal norm dist. X is 66. F1, F2, and true. On the others. For the inputs. The probability that the pulse rate's under 66. So you're a little bit under 50%. So you're right around in here, 66 downward, and that's at 45% probability. Now what's the probability between 66 and 80? So we're talking about the area between right about here, the between shaded region right between 66 and 80. So to do that, there's probability, so we're going to use a norm dist function, and we're going to start with the 80. Then we're going to subtract what we find for 66. The F1, F2, true is the same for both of these functions. So we're doing that subtraction because it's a between problem. And we get the 43.94. So 43% of the data is in between here, 66 and 80. Thank you for watching this particular video on the normal distribution functions and uh, remember if you're looking for a Z or an X value use the I and V functions. If you're looking for probability use the dist functions. Okay, thank you very much.